God redeems, and he's faithful to his promise despite our disobedience. Right? So we see this in Abraham, that, that sometimes, you know, it's like, oh, man, I messed up. Oh, man, I messed up. So you know what? Forget it. Forget it. You know, ministry's not going to happen. Are you serious? Uh, let me tell you about how God um, convicted me this week. You can ask my wife for details. Um, you know, because, because I, had a, I had a struggle this week. You know, this week I, I had a bad attitude, okay? Um, I love Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving means it's a short week. And Sunday is coming, okay? So, so I'm cracking this out. So, so our day off is a Monday, so I'm supposed to be relaxing, and I'm sitting there cracking away at the sermon. I'm like, I better get this done. You know, it's going to be bad. Uh, then Tuesday... I'm cracking away as best as I can. But we have meetings, so by the time I get home, I'm tired. You know, we're doing this. Wednesday, I'm cracking away, and, and eventually, um, I have a bad attitude. You know, because I'm just like, man, I'm never going to get this done. Happy Thanksgiving. You know, just, just have this bad attitude. And God's like, boy, look at the text you're studying, and look at your sinful heart. Do you think, that your lack of extra hours of preparation is going to stop the word of God from going out? Do you think, and, and I'm like, well, well, and then I'm all beat up because I'm like, God, look, I had a bad attitude. Now I, I can't even get up and preach, and Terrence is on vacation, and you know, I'm about to call Sacramento. Hey, hey, John, are you on vacation? You want to come back now and preach? I didn't really do that, but, but I had the moment when I was listening to to, to, to my, my, my Getty hymns and everything. I'm just like, God, I'm, I'm sinful. I can't preach this message. You know, God's like, just repent, boy, and trust me. And so at the end of the day, God reminds us that that we struggle. We mess up, you know, but just because we can't be perfect, and we'll never be perfect, just because we don't put in as much effort as we can doesn't mean that God's word is not going to go out and God's ministry is not going to get done, right? So God is faithful to his promise, and his promise is this. This is the verse that, like, just cut me to the heart is, my word will not come back void. 